What's up guys, NBA Talk with my second video of the night. This one is the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Detroit Pistons. Um, Milwaukee Bucks currently in a good place, while the Detroit Pistons are trying to fight for a, a playoff spot. Pretty much the eighth spot, because I don't see them getting anywhere else. But unfortunately, Detroit didn't get it tonight. Uh, Milwaukee will win this game in overtime. Tough round battle. It, it was Milwaukee Bucks, 108 to 105 in overtime. Um, just a fantastic job. Giannis doing what he does. He has been one of the most improved guys in the league. And he's very, very young, people. Very, very young. And doing a whole bunch of things. Scoring points. Rebounding the ball. Assists. Block shots. Just doing all types of stuff for this team. Um, and if they could build uh, other guys up to match him, it would be absolutely fantastic. Um, you also had Chris Middleton doing some good stuff, his shooting. Like, he's starting to become what he did um, a year ago, I think. I think he, he did play a year ago. Um, I'm not sure when he got injured, but he was playing phenomenal the last time he played a, a seasons ago. Just... Great job. And then you have Jamari Parker back. It's going to be something good. You have these three trios doing a fantastic job. And you can build around that. Um, you also got this guy ba uh, Maker doing some good things tonight as well. Um, that's all I can really say. Uh, this was a very good starter. He's doing a good job production. Um, the Detroit Pistons up and down, you know. It is what it is. So let's look at the stats. Um, Giannis, uh, 28 points, 14 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 block shots from him. Uh, Maker with 23 points tonight. He shot 4 out of 7 for the 3-point range for a big guy. Wow. Um, Della Dadova with 7 assists with 6 points to boot. Uh, Chris Middleton, 25 points. 10 rebounds. He shot 4 out of 7 for the 3-point range. Um, then off the bench, you got a couple guys. 7 points from Beasley. 3 points from Monroe. He also picked up 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Um, 5 points from Hayes. 41% uh, overall for the team. 48 rebounds, 25 assists, 12 turnovers. Um, yeah. Milwaukee's on a roll. Like, they've won 8 out of 2. Um, 10 games. 10 games. They've won 8 out of their 10 games. That's fantastic for this team. They're on a 3-game winning streak. I don't think they're going to catch up to the 4th seed, which is the Washington Wizards, who are now the 4th seed. The Toronto Raptors move up to the 3rd spot. Um, Milwaukee's not going to catch up to them. But this is a good time to continue their run. Finish strong, get a good enough position to to battle out the other seeds below because you don't want to get stuck down there facing the Bucks. I mean, facing the Celtics or Cleveland, basically. So that's pretty much it. Um, the Pistons, um, Coswell Pope, seventeen points, eight rebounds, sixteen points from Ish Smith. Um, 7 points, 13 rebounds from Andre Drummond. Uh, off the bench, you have Tobias Harris with 23 points. Uh, Uterif with 16 points off the bench, also with 8 assists. And that's pretty much it. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks will win this series 3-1. to one. Absolutely. So, good job for Milwaukee. Bad things for uh, Detroit Pistons, who are... In 11th spot. They are in 11th spot. Uh, Charlotte is above them. They're actually tied up. Uh, for the 10th spot actually. Uh, Chicago in the 9th spot. By one game. Or a game and a half to say the least. And then you have Indiana with 37 wins. Miami with 37 wins. They still have a chance. Like 3 games down. So they can still do it. But they have to do it now now now. Because they're 2 out of 8 in their 10 games. 2 wins out of 10. That is absolutely horrible. Their defense is horrible. 
it's a tough break for them. So hopefully they can get these things done. So peace.